And we're back, YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate that. Today, I'm going over some of the mod lists for Wabajack, and especially for Skyrim Special Edition Anniversary Edition. I've played quite a few now, and I always get the question uh, what I think is the best one. Now, that really depends on personal taste. I think that there is no such thing as the best mod list for Skyrim. If you don't know, a mod list is a collection of mods that the mod list author throws together and sort of releases, and you can download it through Wabajack, which is an amazing program, so you don't have to mess with the mods, downloading them individually, uh, checking them for compatibility issues and patches and whatnot. It's uh, a way more convenient way of playing a modded Skyrim because somebody else took care of all the busy work, so to speak. Now, I'll go over these mod lists and we'll tell you what I think of them. Kazal, let's start with that one, is a pretty cool mod list. It stays fairly true to the Skyrim vanilla atmosphere and it adds a whole bunch of extras to the mix. The thing though is, is that it hasn't been updated for quite a while and there are better lists and I'll go over the better lists as well. But if you want to, you can check it out. Uh, it's a personal mod list of the author. So yeah, you can check it out, but I think there are better ones. Aurora, I did not play, uh, is only a visual overhaul of the game. And usually I choose mod lists that include other things as well, like combat overhauls or other overhauls of gameplay elements, perks, magic, all kinds of stuff, not just the graphics. Elysium Remastered, talking about graphics, amazing graphics, but I could not really run it very well. And it also says that you should really check whether you can run this. But for showcases and that, it looks great. For playing, not so much in my experience. This one is a variant. This is the, uh, how can I say this? Slidiken Stren, Strena Skyrim uh, is, a, is a, a variant of the Phoenix flavor with more challenging gameplay elements like survival and that sort of stuff. I'm not really into survival, so I have not played this. But if you're into that and you like the Phoenix flavor, I'll talk about Phoenix flavor later, and you want survival, you can go for this one. Lorem is a more newer one by Biggie Boss. I made some videos on that, or one video at least. This is primarily a, a visual list. Loads of great graphics. It looks fantastic. It doesn't offer a lot of extra content in terms of quests or whatnot, but if you're looking for probably the best looking Skyrim, fantasy Skyrim, uh, Lorem, you can't go wrong with. It also adds modern combat mods as well as Requiem or a variant of Requiem where combat and progression is more difficult, more challenging, so to speak. It's not like you can barge into a bandit camp and kill everyone. Uh, not really. So you know what you're in for. It's going to be tough, at least for, I don't know, 20 levels or something. Total Skyrim Overhaul. I don't know. I have not played this one. And let's see the details. This is a Requiem-based list. Oh, that, that explains why I have not played this one. Uh, again, I'm not a huge fan of Requiem. Um, I do like my Skyrim to be fun and not overly challenging. So, but this is Requiem also. So, hmm. Lost Legacy is my personal favorite. Why? Because it has a consistent look that I like. It's more vibrant, but still kind of Skyrim-ish like, but more pleasantly for the eyes. And it adds a shitload of content. It's not very lore friendly because of that, because it adds really the craziest quests and dungeons and followers, and it, it really makes no sense. But it's so much fun. For me, I like that. I, 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 I'm not really necessarily a purist of Skyrim, right? 
Do not go gentle. Amazing looking list. Very moody. Actually, I do like this one for a, a another Requiem list. This is actually one I really like. So, yeah, if you do want to go into the Requiem way, then do not go gentle is a fun way. This one I've not played. Uh, this is, a I think, a survival version of Skyrim, but I've not played it. Again, I'm not really into survival. Tempus Maledictum is a mod list that throws together a lot of stuff. And it's probably a good starting point for new players because it throws a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in. And I do think it runs better than Living Skyrim 4. Living Skyrim 4 seems to seems to be very popular uh, with people. It seems to be the the go-to mod list just to hang back and play Skyrim. I just didn't like the aesthetic that much. Way too colorful. Tempest. I don't know. It just spoke to me more. But both um, offer... Uh, well, I don't know if this uh, Living Skyrim 4 offers the Legacy of the Dragonborn, but I know that Tempest does. So this is a way more... Um, more of a fun Skyrim, sort of a fantasy Skyrim that also has Legacy of the Dragonborn, so has Lost Legacy. But if I have to choose between Lost Legacy and Tempest, I'd still choose Lost Legacy, just, be just because of the fun. Nordic Souls I found quite depressing looking, but it's also one of those mod lists that throws in a whole lot of... Uh, um, quests and it is quite consistent and the performance is also quite good but again i it, it, i didn't like the 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 atmosphere and the style of it just too drab just too much of vanilla uh, skyrim in my opinion halls of sovereign guard uh i have not played because again this is a requiem list legends of the frost is a very good vanilla plus mod list if you're not sure if your PC can run these mod lists, because, I mean, you can go completely overboard with mod, li mod lists. And it is, a, in any case, it is a heavily modded game you're playing. So if you are unsure about whether or not your system can handle it, start, start with Legends of the Frost. See if you like it. See if you can expand on it. This is one of those lighter lists where you can... Uh, putting your own mods, the things that are missing in your opinion, uh, to build upon, so to speak. Really cool list. Uh, I have it on my system just to experience that. Um, uh, how do you say that? That um, original look and feel. Although I don't think it's the best of the bunch because there are more lightweight lists. But it's a it's a good one. It's a, it's a very good one. Um, these I've not played. So I'm going to... Uh, skip over Wildlander. Also, this is a survival. This one seems very popular with a lot of people. So if you're into survival, you can't go wrong with Wildlander. Skyrim Modding Essentials is uh, for people who really want to get into the nitty gritty of modding and make their own list. Uh, so you can learn how to do that. Uh, this could be very helpful. Fuluan. I've played this one. Really cool. Uh, lots of cool uh, combat, modern combat. I, I do like it a lot. Uh, new gear, spells, quest mods. But I had trouble running it for some reason. Again, uh, this really depends on uh, your uh, system. And um, you can go over the mod list and see. Uh, there's a lot here. I mean, this is a big, big list. has all the creation club content, all the bug fixes. Uh, I just want to check the combat, because I thought this had really good combat. Uh, just uh, I'm going to scroll down. Flora. I mean, it's a super uh, seasons, uh, city overhauls, interiors. All the cities are covered in this mod list. And uh, this has been a while since I've played this one. But I remember, uh, again, this being uh, quite taxing on my systems. has new creatures, uh, clutter, water. Furniture is not a, a list I would recommend you start with when you're not familiar 
with uh, with modding uh, loads of armors, weapons, visual effects, E and Bs. So that's gonna be a little texting on your system. Also, um, where are the beast races? Hair, eyes, brows. So a lot of customization. Uh, but again, I'm looking, and I'm gonna go to find combat uh, this way. Uh, let's see. Combat music. Now here we go. Let's find out. Ah, non-combat animations. Combat animations. So we're gonna get a whole bunch of new animations for combat. Uh, this is just crazy. And you can you can see here it's got blade and blunt, uh, precision, TK dodge, dual wields, dual wield parrying, power attack, uh, Sekiro combat. So yeah, it's, it really focuses on that. I. I had fun playing that. Uh, if you're into more of a combat type of um, of game, uh, so they kind of mix things up here again. Um, yeah, the, the whole order is uh, different now. Um, did I talk about Northern Experience? It's sort of again, it's sort of an RPG-ish uh, experience with uh, combat. I think this also is Requiem. The Phoenix flavor here. We have it. It's a uh, it's the classic one. People seem to like it a lot. Uh, it hasn't changed uh, over the course of the years uh, very much. I think there is a one better uh, mod list, and I'll uh, come to that. Anvil, again, is a base that you can use to build upon if you think you uh, know what you're doing and you're going to add a lot of uh, extra mods to your own mix. Um, so this is a very lightweight list, so... Uh, leaves a lot of room for experimentation. So here comes my all-time favorite, really. If you want to play a Skyrim vanilla plus list, then Winds of the North is the way to go, in my opinion. Because Winds of the North feels like Skyrim, but it adds so much more to the mix. Uh, combat, quest mods, but all fairly lore friendly as if they were always there and it runs perfectly for me it, it really does 60 fps never below that but still it offers quite a lot it, it offers quests that are are tinkered in a way that it offers more uh, ways to resolve a certain quest or options for you to respond that sort of stuff um yeah just really cool and uh, this is a more a newer um, I'd say lightweight mod list, and yeah, it's it, it's a very complete package in that way because it touches on a lot of things, so it makes the original graphics look better, uh, and it has community shaders to make it look better, so everything sort of pops. Uh, I do like that, especially if you're very sensitive to colors and whatnot, like I am. Uh, this is a very good list uh, to play. Um, did I miss anything else? Uh, there are quite a few lists for VR, but I've n I don't have VR. I cannot stomach VR because of, uh, well, motion sickness, mostly. Um, so, yeah, we talked about the Phoenix Flavor and Legends of the Frost. Those two uh, and the Winds of the North. I would definitely pick Winds of the North. Uh, over uh, these two, uh, although they are uh, great lists, but a bit, uh, yeah, redundant, basic, maybe? I don't know. Let's move on. Uh, anything else I have not talked about? Let me see. Let me check. Let me check. There are so many lists, but uh, there are some, some crazy lists. Um, uh, yeah, not sure. I've not tried these. I think I've forgotten one. Um, uh, let's see. What's this? Just a humble warden? I've not seen this one. Oh, this is a, a, a Dragon Age. <laughs> oh, and yeah, this one is... Oh, the first, the Morning Star. I love Morning Star for what it does. Uh, this is a very contained mod list, uh, also lightweight, and it focuses on everything Simon Rim. As it says, a simple Simon Rim mod list. And if you don't know, Simon Rim, the mod 
author creates created a whole bunch of really cool mods um, and it sort of enhances the systems in Skyrim it overhauls them but not like in an intrusive way or, or in a crazy way as if this stuff was always there in the game like the religion uh, enchantments perks standing stones I mean everything it's really really cool Moving on, yes, this one, Apostasy, is a fairly recent one. And this one goes really overboard with amazing amount of content. Um, and it's, again, one of those uh, graphics-focused mod lists. So, yeah, like Lorem, Apostasy is one of those. Uh, in my opinion, this, this mod list is very taxing uh, on my system. Uh, it looks great, but again, it's crazy. It really is crazy on your on my system. So be sure to uh, yeah, to have a good system if you want to play that one. Uh, just another rec room list. Well, as it says, it's a uh, a smaller list. Uh, I'm not sure. I thought this was just another rec room list. Isn't this? No, I don't think it's by Guitar Ninja. No, but um, yeah, it's rec room, requiem. God, I can't talk about that word. Um, so yeah, a little bit of everything is also a mod list that I've played, and it's exactly what the title says. It throws in a little bit of uh, uh, graphics enhancements, uh, throws in combat, throws in quests, and by doing so, it kind of misses the point for who this is for. It doesn't have a very distinct feature in that way, so I kind of left it there. Mm. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. These are the mod lists. Oh, and Thaldor Skyrim. I need to talk about this one as well. Thaldor Skyrim is a very beautiful and very distinct looking mod list. It's not completely my taste, but I do appreciate this one. It's not super big, but I had some performance issues with it it you know I, I had 60 and then tank at 30 and then 40 and 60 back again so i don't know could be my system uh, but um yeah it's it's uh, again one of those personal lists that um for some people run fine but uh, again it's a personal list of somebody who obviously has other hardware than i have so that could be the problem uh, there but this one is really cool to look at very distinct looking a Skyrim um yeah I think that covers it I've been talking way too long about these mod lists so hopefully I've given you kind of an idea uh oh, god this one as well I know this one is another one of biggies and GVO it's sort of a baseline pretty much like Lauren but without the progression and the combat just graphics yeah not a fan looks great but doesn't run that well um, so yeah, these two I've not really played. Um, Gullified Reality and Remastered Edition, I don't know. Could be fun, haven't played it. So yeah, that's it for me. Hopefully you liked the video and I've given you a basic idea of what these mod lists can do for you. And again, it really boils down to personal taste. Are you into like vanilla Skyrim's combat, uh, just hacking and slashing your way through hordes of enemies, uh, or do you like a more challenging modern combat, Requiem, that sort of list? Do you like graphics? Do you like Simon Rim? Uh, that sort of stuff. Lore friendly or not, it's really up to you to decide uh, what's good and fun for you. So that's it for me. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one.